Hi guys, you're watching The Drop. I'm your host Usman. I'm Ahmad. I'm Mahad. Guys, Chelsea has won the Europa League against Arsenal and you won't believe it, we've got an Arsenal fan in our studio to talk about it. It's Ahmad, what happened? What can I say? <laughs> it's been absolutely terrible to be an Arsenal fan last night. But, you know, the first half was pretty even. Both teams cancelled each other out. Both teams were, you know, playing with great intensity. There was a lot of KG to begin with. The, the, the yeah, teams were very narrow. There wasn't much space. Mahat, I thoughts? agree, yeah. I think uh, 25 minutes into the game, Arsenal were on, on, on their front foot. But afterwards, Chelsea were just, you know, building up pressure on them. I think Chelsea has the ability to soak up pressure. That They've been doing that for years. And I think that played in their... I think the, the game really started in the second half. Um, and Pedro's off-the-ball movement for that goal. And Giroud's goal, uh, that header was completely amazing. The header was class, but the way he lost Koscielny in the markup was brilliant. But after Chelsea scored that goal, you could just feel that they were going to score more because Arsenal just simply imploded. They couldn't contain them, they couldn't uh, pressurise them. It was just a roller coaster and an Eden Hazard masterclass, by the way, who was <laughs> absolutely fantastic in the entire game. So, hats off to them, that's all I can say. I think around the 60 minute mark, it, it, we started to see the Hazard show. Mahat, how crucial is Hazard to this team and are they really going to miss him when he's gone? I think he's been Chelsea this season. He's the team because he scored 23 goals, assisted 19 throughout the season. So I think he's been monumental in all competitions. So definitely he's one of those players that's irreplaceable. But I'm hoping that Chelsea can you know, go in a different direction and come back stronger next season. We're hearing rumours that he's going to go to um, Real Madrid next season. Um, what do you guys think? What value is he going to add to that team? Eden Hazard is basically a really great dribbler and a really, a really direct player. So Madrid really needs someone like him right now because they lost Ronaldo. And his potency to create chances and create goals is something that Madrid lack and they'll absolutely love having him here. As Fernandino Perez said in his uh, recent interviews that he's been wanting him at Real Madrid for the past few years. So it's, it's going to be an amazing addition. Creating goals for Real Madrid is a problem but again, Real Madrid has a lot of the same issues that Arsenal does when it comes to defence. Um, the defence completely imploded um, when it came to last night's match. Where did Arsenal go wrong? Arsenal went wrong in a number of areas actually. Um, during the second half, what I saw was that a lack of intensity in the game, the lack of persistence. And Maitland Niles, who was basically not really a right back but had to play there, um, he was he was recoupable for two goals, I suppose. And him not being able to mark Hazard well later on in the game was a, fo a focal point. Um, Iwobi's goal was basically a consolation. A stunner, yeah, and exactly. A great stunner, but just a consolation in the end. Um, I felt that Chelsea were just that much better in the entire game and both Unai Emery and Arsenal have a lot of questions to answer when it comes to this summer and the recruitment and how they'll be going forward. Um, Mahat, when it comes to Chelsea taking the initiative in the game, um, who do you think other than Hazard made, made a huge difference? I think there were two key players. One was Aspil Lakata because in the back he was a, he was like a rock solid wall, wasn't letting you know defend uh, players go past him. So I think he was crucial. And second, when I was I think Emerson was the one who assisted Juru in the first place. So that momentum shifted for us after that first goal. I think so. Those two players were instrumental for us in our victory. Apart from Hazard, of course. Definitely, um, guys. Before we wrap up, uh, we have the Champions League final coming on the weekend. Um, let's just quickly talk about it. Your predictions going forward? My prediction is that I want football to be saved and I want to continue <laughs> watching it. And so I really hope that Liverpool get their sixth and I never see Spurs in the Champions League again, hopefully. Do I see Spurs winning? I hope so. I, I love an underdog story. So I think that Spurs might actually nick it because no one gives them an, any chance. So I think it's going to be a close game, but Spurs going to win it. Score predictions quickly. Liverpool 5, Spurs nil. No way. Yes, no absolutely. Way. Mahal, so. Be think, more generous, please. I think to Spurs 2, Liverpool 1. Guys, although Chelsea won the cup, but, this, but Sarri's uh, future is still up for debate. It is. Um, I find it really ridiculous that Sarri's future is up because he finished third. He, has, he was in two finals. He won one. So he basically deserves to stay and, uh, stay and proceed Chelsea throughout this entire transfer ban that they have. He deserves the opportunity. Exactly, I agree with him and I think that's been a trend with Chelsea. If the manager wins, they're most likely to get sacked and I don't get that. And that's why we've lacked stability throughout the years, which has kind of stopped us from becoming a big club like Barcelona or Manchester United in the past. So I think it will be a mistake to let him go. Guys, this was your drop for the week. Until next time, bye-bye.